Jamichael Garrett commits to the Auburn Tigers. You are Locked On Auburn, your daily podcast on the Auburn Tigers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Yes, welcome into this special commitment edition of Locked On Auburn. I'm your host, Zach Blackerby, and of course, Locked On Auburn is part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. We're dapping it up. Daryl Daprich, Montgomery radio legend, hanging out with us as we celebrate the commitment of Jamichael Garrett to be part of the 2026 class for the Auburn Tigers, which is looking to be in a really good spot moving forward. But first things first, Daryl, Jamichael Garrett, the 6'2", 200-pound linebacker from Gulf Shores, a consensus four-star across the state. This is a guy that we started hearing a lot about really at the start of the year. And the fact of the matter is, okay, Auburn gets him on campus. Auburn makes it official, or I guess Jamichael makes it official. He's part of Auburn's 2026 class. Linebacker, position of need. When you think about some of the senior linebackers that are going to be going away this year it, with Auburn, and I know there's a great linebacking class in 2024 that Auburn signed, but just stack them. That's how you do it, sustainability. This kid, again, from Gulf Shores, I love how Auburn's going to different parts of the state, plucking sure. these kids out of areas and regions that are known. Uh, 6'2", about 210, very, very fast, very explosive linebacker, probably versatile. I mean, you know, you could imagine, I don't know, I don't know exactly what Auburn's plans would be for him as far as what position of linebacker he would play inside or outside. I don't know that. A lot of that changes when you get on campus, but mm -hmm. a good get. And a kid that's been, we, we sometimes get caught up in the fact that just because you hear a kid's name for a very long time and these indicators, these prediction indicators like 96, 97%, do not still underestimate the fact that this is a very, very good four-star player that Auburn's got in a position of need and can just continue to bolster a 2026 class. Yeah, the, the top schools on his list, according to On3 and 247, Auburn, LSU, Miami. 247 has Michigan on here. On3 has Ole Miss and USC. I mean, this is a guy that the top programs that are – throwing out whatever it takes to get these elite classes. Auburn went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them to land J. Mike, J. Michael Garrett. And so to me, this is a win no matter how you do it. If, if Auburn ever gets bored by landing four-star linebackers, I don't know what to tell you. I don't yes. know what to tell you. This is a, this is a great, great addition to the 2026 class. And it, it sounds like he's well-liked by a lot of his future teammates already. Loves that. I love that aspect of it. Uh, again, I don't want to sound repetitive, but I love looking at offer lists. And that's a who's who of college football right there. Yes, yeah, the cream uh, of the crop stuff right there. It, sure. For, except for a few that are Johnny come lately. Um, I think that, you know, when you look at guys that are a, a Michigan, just won a national championship, LSU, USC, which is a, a name, yeah. especially all the way out in Los Angeles. Lincoln Riley wanted to get this kid. Love it. And, and that's what you do. You hold them off. You keep the in-state kids in-state. And again, linebacker, it's going to be a position of need. It's a definite premium that Auburn needs. And this kid is, has gotten rave reviews. And I love the fact, again, another, another kid that to me, kind of Zach, seems like he's wanted to be at Auburn for a long time. Yeah. When you look at what on three's national writer, Steve Wiltfong, who, I mean, he's become one of the best national names in recruiting, on Friday morning, he put out his primer for the weekend because Big Cat Weekends this weekend, there's a ton of big recruiting events. And in this, I mean, he's talking about the biggest names visiting Oregon and Alabama and, and Ole Miss and, and obviously Auburn and Georgia are all in this, LSUs. I mean, he's highlighted there. I mean, from a national scope, on three believes this guy is nationally relevant, that is he, this is a name worth noting and he's a year out. It's not even he's not even a 2025 guy. And, and he's already got national attention going into one of the biggest recruiting weekends of the year. So Jamichael Garrett, get to know the name now because you're just going to hear it over and over and over again. And you already said what he was good at, Daryl. And it's a lot of things, but I want to discuss exactly what that means moving forward in, in just a moment, right here on the special commitment edition of Locked On Auburn. 
Today's show is brought to you by our friends at eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience is what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors gets it. Daryl, I can't imagine buying anything uh, for my car, truck, or SUV from anywhere other than eBay Motors. I'm not very mechanically sound. I'm just not mechanically inclined, but I can work a computer, and I know how to work eBay. And one of the great things is you put in model number, you put in year, make, and model. You need a part. I can do that, and I find it. And that's it. That's the key without having to go somewhere get it marked up, wait in line. No one helps you. I can do a little research. It's easy. Like everything else. We look up. Yeah. Let's look up parts. Well, that's kind of the great thing is like the research is here's my car. And then they're like, okay, this is what you need. This is what you need. Because I'm always wondering, even when I go to a place like physically, when I used to do that, now I don't, I can't imagine doing that now, but I'd be like, is this even going to fit? Is this even going to actually fit my car? You don't have to worry about that anymore with the eBay guaranteed fit. So keep your ride or die live at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply, eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. Jamichael Garrett joining the 2026 class for the Auburn Tigers, and you talked about his versatility. I mean, Mm -hmm. this is a guy who could be effective off of a blitz. This is going to be a guy who I think is going to be effective with his athleticism in regards to being effective in coverage and then just also having a nose for what offenses are trying to do and, and attacking the football. But something we've always got to think about when we talk about how good these kids are is Jermichael Garrett still has two more years of high school football to get bigger, better, faster, stronger, and just get better overall as a linebacker. And to me, that just can't be overstated. Yeah, stop me if you've heard this before. He's a guy that could probably be a, a fast riser. He could... He could, you know, climb. He could get more stars added to him. More people come out of the woodwork. I wonder too, you know, what is he going to be like as as far as in coverage? We know DJ Durkin how he uses his linebackers. He wants flexibility. He's yeah. very, very athletic, very fast. A lot of upside and a lot to kind of figure out in the next two years. But it'll be fun watching that journey. Yeah, I'm excited to see it too. So across the board, seen as a top ten player. In the state, ESPN has him as the seventh-ranked player in the state. Rivals has him as the tenth-rated player in the state, and then uh, on three and two four seven has him at eight, kind of in the middle there. And then nationally, the eleventh-ranked linebacker, according to the on three industry ranking, ESPN and two four seven has him as the ninth-ranked linebacker in the entire country. You take that. Yeah, you I want people to understand that. that. We used to say and get excited over, hey, this is the seventh, eighth best linebacker in the state. You can't gloss over the fact that that's eighth or ninth best linebacker in the country. That's right. Country. It's huge. Please, let's embrace that and understand the times we're in right now. Where should this 2026 class end when it's all said and done, Daryl? I know there's a ton that we don't know yet, but just gut feeling after, uh, after discussing Jermichael Garrett's commitment. Well, obviously, you know, we, we've got to see some other things fall into place, but I don't have any uh, hesitation in saying this is definitely a class that should be top five at least and could be the potential of top three if things fall the way they should. Yeah. Jamichael Garrett, welcome to the 2026 class. Um, can't wait to see your journey um, until uh, until you get here. So, Daryl, how can people check out everything that you've got going on? Follow me on X, DAP6410. Instagram, Daryl Dapp, Wednesdays and Fridays with you and some of my written work on Auburn Daily. Yeah, you can find written work on Jamichael Garrett as well as everything happening uh, throughout Big Cat Weekend at AuburnDaily.com. Like the video, subscribe. We'll see you next time. This has been Locked on Auburn.